Building a good foundation at the kindergarten level is an important initiative in developing engaged learners. Let me now speak about how, at the next stage, our schools will equip our students to succeed. I want to thank Dr. Lili Neo for your suggestions on how we can level up. Students enter primary school with different dispositions and readiness for learning. Sometimes this is due to learning difficulties, but often it is a lack of home and parental support for learning. Some parents are keen to help, but do not know how. Others are preoccupied with making ends meet or with family problems. Some students come to school with low expectations of what they can achieve and are not putting in enough efforts. To address this, MOE will embark on a comprehensive program to level up our students. This will help every Singaporean child, regardless of family background, start from a quality kindergarten and then build a strong foundation in the 10 years of primary and secondary education. This is especially important for students from disadvantaged backgrounds or who need more dedicated support. This levelling up efforts will be integrated with our overall approach in our schools to develop engaged learners. In other words, it is not a standalone program. Students who need help in specific areas will be given more attention and resources. When they have achieved the baseline mastery, they will be taught using other learning approaches. This is a student-centric approach in the spirit of what educators call differentiated teaching, or in Chinese, ying tai shi jiao. Our leveling up efforts will nurture engaged learners through four prongs. Let me speak on each of these in turn. The first prong is building confidence and the motivation to achieve. This is the core of learning. A child must feel that, yes, I want to do it, and yes, I can do it. A teacher must set suitable challenges and help each child experience success. We must create a virtuous cycle of effort, success, confidence, effort. Effort leading to success, success leading to confidence, and confidence leading to more effort. This is especially important for those from disadvantaged backgrounds. So we need efforts from all parties. First, building confidence at preschool levels and extending this in our schools. And we'll infuse this in our school curriculum, CCAs, and character and citizenship curriculum. Second, working with school-based student care centers to reinforce the efforts of our schools for students who need extra support. Not just ensuring that they do homework, but nurturing a resilience to succeed. Third, we'll intensify partnerships with parents, self-help groups, and community organizations. Parents play a critical role. SPS Hawazi will elaborate on this later. The second prong in build, is building literacy and numeracy foundations. In our preschool, MOE already provides literacy assistance to 250 preschool centers. This helps children from lower income backgrounds who are from a non-English speaking environment. This is done through one-on-one -on -one sessions or in small groups. Over the next two years, we'll provide this assistance to another 100 preschool centers. The Lee Kuan Yew Fund for Bilingualism will catalyze preschool bilingualism efforts. Such efforts will help our children build a strong foundation in English and their mother tongue language from young. In our schools, we are helping all our children learn through better research-based methods. Stella for English language and literacy and a concrete pictorial abstract for numeracy. For the mother tongue languages, students learn through appropriate modules and methods that take into account their linguistic abilities and their home language environment. For students who start primary school with weaker foundations in literacy and numeracy, we have the Learning Support Program for English and Mathematics. We will now take a further major step to provide specialised help to more students so that they can achieve a higher level of baseline competency in literacy and numeracy from primary school all the way to secondary school. As these students learn in different ways and at a different pace, we will implement several learning programs and novel teaching approaches to engage them. This will level up our students at zero cost to them. Students from low-income families, which many of you have spoken about, 
will get the extra support they need from our schools. Schools can choose from a menu of approaches and programs. For example, different teaching methods. Learning algebra can be too abstract for many students. Understanding the meaning and the manipulating expressions with numbers, X and Ys can be challenging. So some teachers are using learning aids like the LG Disc that in Bedok View Secondary School. The second approach is to use different teaching arrangements. For children who lack confidence and need more structure, schools may provide small group teaching and break the learning tasks into smaller parts. This is used, for example, to support English literacy at Ta Chiao Primary School. Now, a third area is online resources, and Ms. Denise Paul spoke passionately about this earlier on, and I agree with her. In fact, online interactive resources can be used to help strengthen language skills, which can be integrated into our lessons and be accessed by our students in their own time and pace, and they're suited to their learning needs. And we will explore how we can use online resources more extensively. Now, having piloted these approaches in several schools, will progressively implement this and other similar initiatives in schools in the next two years. Now, the third prong is skillful teachers. We'll resource our schools with skillful teachers to do this well. Schools with greater need will have more teachers deployed to them. Our teachers will also work with our specialists to constantly improve these programs and approaches through action research and determine the relative effectiveness of each of these for different students. MOE will launch a comprehensive training program for the primary and secondary school teachers who will lead this effort. This will enable them to better identify the learning gaps of their students and to customise how they teach. So I fully agree with Dr Intan's call for MOE to provide specialised training for teachers of NT students. You gave a very passionate account of your teaching experience. And like you, we recognise that students often improve because they are motivated by their teachers who also provide them with social-emotional support. And we'll continue to study how we can further improve this. And I welcome your suggestions, Dr Intan. The fourth prong is a whole school approach. This comprehensive levelling up effort will build on initiatives announced at last year's COS, such as the expansion of student care centres in schools and significant moves to increase support for students from less advantaged backgrounds. This includes enhancements to the MOE financial assistance schemes and school-based financial assistance scheme, the EduSafe Merit Bursary and the School Breakfast Program. I'm happy to report that I've met many of the students who have benefited from these schemes, as well as their parents, and these are well used and well appreciated. But as our comprehensive program to level up our students is being rolled out, there are students who are about to complete secondary schools. They will not have the opportunity to benefit from this effort. So instead, we will pilot a program in ITE, the Extended NITEC Foundation Program, to help these students build up their literacy and numeracy skills during their, their NITEC years and to enable them to complete the NITEC course. The aim is not to extend their stay in ITE, rather, it is to give them an opportunity to go further. So let me summarise what this levelling up programme is about. When fully rolled out, this comprehensive programme for levelling up students will ensure that any student who needs additional help to achieve a strong foundation in numeracy and literacy will get it. We have added a range of differentiated learning programmes and teaching approaches that are better than simply reducing their class size will provide training to all teachers who need it. On top of this, we'll deploy 600 more teachers. MOE's priority is to allocate our teaching resources to where they can make a major difference. Now, I want to thank many members of the public as well as educators who, in our Singapore conversation, wanted a Singapore that provides opportunities for all and a society that takes care of those from disadvantaged backgrounds. Your inputs provided important inspiration. So the purpose of this levelling up effort is simple. It's about providing the best opportunities for every child to succeed, regardless of their background and pace of development. Every child has the potential and power to succeed in school and in life if he or she puts in the effort. 
The new initiatives are to ensure that every child fulfills his or her potential, and special attention is given to those from disadvantaged backgrounds. This is about hope, it is about inclusion.